guys welcome back to my channel so I thought I would go ahead pop in here and um, say hello <laughs> to you guys because a couple of you have contacted me and asked if I was okay how's everything going as some of you may know and some of you may not know Texas is having um, whether it's engineered or not we're having a freak ice storm um, a lot of power outages power outages. Um, I haven't had one here so far, but they have. there have been some um, in my small city and surrounding cities. Um, Dallas is like two hours from me, and my sister is having some there in Forney. But anyway, so I thought I would just do a video. Um, I haven't been crafting the last couple of days. I've been taking this time to spend with my children. Um, we've been, you know, cuddling up and just talking about some things especially during this time or uh, times like these so anyway this is what i've been working on i did kind of start this one the other day i showed you guys this one as well as this one that i was working on um i don't even know how many i started doing this one then i kind of jumped and went off and <laughs> did this but i'm going to show you guys what i'm working on so you already know the covers that i showed you um, these are they. This one is still empty as I haven't gotten that much done inside of it. But I have gone and let me put this over here. And I'm these are just quick throughs. I'm just kind of doing a video to show you guys. Hi, um, I'm okay. We're okay. So this is what I've got so far going on in the inside um, here with that one. It's kind of a little chunky. So I may try and downsize that a little bit. Then I have this one, as I showed you, um, and these are repurposed books that I got from the Dollar Tree. So now I want to show you guys this. So when I was working on those journals, I went to, and I just have them here, um, cut some more of these die cuts out. And I started, do you see how I have those um, sitting up there? So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and make the um, ephemera folder that I told you guys I wanted to create. So I went ahead and did that, and this is what that is. Now, it's my ephemera folder that I'm not, I'm not finished with it yet, but look at it, you guys. I started liking that so much that this would be lovely as a journal cover, and so I'm also thinking about uh, recreating this into a journal cover. This is just some um, fabric that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I left a little trim down on the bottom. But it opens up like so. This is going to be my closure piece. But this is how it opens out. And I was thinking about doing a video and showing you guys the process of it. But I did it and I figured maybe I'll do it again. Um, I'm not for sure, so I don't know if I'll do that or not. But it opens up like this. And these are file folders that I have that will go in I've staggered them okay and this is going to be the closure right here and once you open this part up and then I may put some tabs on each one and you know to say whatever kind of ephemera is off inside each one but it's, it's opening up like this here so these are all pockets I used acetate and then these are pockets here as well. Um, and I may go ahead and stitch these closed because that may come out and open. I'm not for sure, but that's how that's working. And then as I closed it, I realized I had so much more room. I could also turn this into a journal for me just to put some words in. Not, you know, of course, you can see how thick that spine is, not to go too crazy. And or I can just add some more uh, file folders on both sides and then maybe a few journal pages on the inside. So I'm loving the way that that turn is turning out. But I want to show you guys, when I took those books apart, I told you not to throw this away because we could use it. You guys, this, as you see how it folds up and opens out, I've turned this into this. And I'm in love with it. This is actually a pocket here. So I'll be able to stuff something else behind that. That's a pocket. Okay, so while I'm 
showing you what I'm working on, what's on my desk. There's a lot of stuff on my desk. Okay, so I'm going to move that to the side. I showed you guys how to use acrylics in a video before. And then in a previous video, I was showing you how to go and add some interesting um, using acrylics to come up with your own background pages using the vinyl uh, placemats, um, the lace placemats and I want to show you guys how, um, and I've used some of this off in the journal as well, to coordinate those, remember, with your fabrics, your lace, your papers, and all of that. So I forgot to add this in, so I'm going to just insert this into the video at this at that part. Um, so also, when you're coordinating your um, pages to your projects, you're also going to coordinate other stuff to your projects. So that's all that this is. And these are the ones that I did before. I haven't used those. Um, but look how beautiful those greens and purples are there. And then this blue. Now, I went too heavy with the acrylic to water um, um, rate. I needed to add more water to this. So this is kind of crinkly, but it's fine. And then there are some laces that I dyed. Here is the seam binding. And then just the um, other laces and other um, stuff. And this is the one that I just did as well showing you guys so for not this one showing but I'm sure you could if you had just some plain that I know you could you could dye that as well but just showing you how to coordinate your stuff together this with your papers okay to help coordinate your project together using cheap acrylic paints okay so I've used that and these are what I want you to see because when I did the last video it wasn't um, they didn't really come out too good so I kind of eased up a little bit and played around with it here. This one, you can see I've added in three different colors here just to get that nice background page. And I think, yeah, in this journal here, let me show you. In this page here, and this is one of my butterflies from my kit, I've added, I mean, I've, I've used the different colors here. I brought that green in so that could come in and um, blend well with this page. See? Okay, so there is that. And I'm not done. While I'm making a video, I, I may as well make a video. <laughs> right? So we have those pages. And there's that in the green. And then I took some heavier cardstock, uh, 60 pound, and then I just sprayed and it was already coffee dyed, and then I just sprayed it and went to town to be able to use that for tags and such if I want to do that. Now, um, on a recent video, I have also spoke about the reason, um, the reason, not the reason, but um, one reason I do not like watching other um videos especially like sharing because you'll completely change you know a project that you're working on you'll either put it off into that new project and have clashing or different things going on in your journal and i've done that i guess it worked but um you may not want to do that another reason i don't like watching other people's <laughs> videos while in the midst of it is because i make so many videos you guys I make a lot of videos and I'm hard on myself and I don't always put the videos out. Like right now, I probably have six videos that I'm working on to edit. And I look, you probably will never see those. I'm determined that you're going to see this one, whether I like it um, or not. At least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> okay. So anywho, I'm, or I was working on these. I actually started making these before I started making the, um, the journals, these ones. Okay, I put them to the side because I wanted to have a day where I sat and I think, no, let me not get, where I, I wanted to take a day where I would sit and take all of my scraps and then some of my extra pieces and start tearing them. It seems like I've told you in this a video before, it's probably one of those videos that I'm not going to post but anyway, so I came up with these, and I'm going to show you now because I'm doing it. Um, I came up with these little tags, and I was going to do a video over them, so that's why I put them to the side till I could work on them later. 
because not only are they going to be tags, see, this is your tag right here. Okay, it, it opens out like this. I'm gonna leave some of them closed, but some of them I'm going to stitch shut and they're going to be a pocket, which is why you see this here, okay? And I did have that on the back of them. I don't know if I did all of them like that. No, I did those two. But not all of them have that on the back and you can still journal over them even if you choose not to do that. And that's some of that um, paper that I did, I dyed. But I was gonna create some kind of little, little um, journaling card to stick in there with a little tab piece hanging out. Plus, I wanted to show you guys how you a call came through, you guys, so um, I got cut off <laughs> with the rest of the video. So I'm going to summarize what I was talking about and just not worry about all the other things that I said in that video because apparently it wasn't meant to be said. So um, there are some other things also that you, you can do, which I'm going to show you guys if I actually go ahead and uh, make the video. But not only will you have like this one, I think... So if you just tuck this in, you know, put if you want to put a piece on there, you can leave it open like this to have journaling play, uh, space here. Or you can go ahead, stitch around this part, as I said, and then create a journaling tag to insert there. But I'm also going to take it up a notch with these um, tags. I'm going to take it up a notch. It will be very, very nice. So I am going to go ahead and mention this because that's why I even brought these up. Sometimes I don't like watching videos because you have thoughts and ideas in your head. Like I've had this done. This has been done and waiting. And then I've just clicked on YouTube watching um, a video, an educational video. And then I saw something so beautiful and I told myself, do not click on it. I clicked on it, you guys. The video channel that I saw was Till and Tattered. Her name is Martina, and I was in love with these journals. I haven't gone through and checked all of her stuff out, but I scrolled through enough to say, enough to know that I wanted to sub to her channel. Oh my gosh, very inspiring, I can tell, and it makes me want to go and make more beautiful journals. When I see something beautiful, that's why I say, man, Sharon gets me every time. If I see someone else make something beautiful, I want to go and create something beautiful. But anyway, I'm saying all of that to say, go also go over and check her channel out. But what I typically have done in the past is the video that um, the video that I'm going to make with these, which I have created way long before watching this uh, lady's video. Now I no longer want to do that. I am still going to because. Um, we all have ideas, we're all getting ideas, and we get them around about the same time, or if not, and then things just recycle. This was done 50 years ago, 100, it was already done. So um, I need to get over that. I'm going to go ahead, and you, a lot of you guys, I can see we're, you know, we do that. I'm going to go ahead and make my video. But anyway, I wanted to um, share that with you guys and pop on here. And at the end of the day, um, I hope that I inspire you. I hope that I am inspired by you even more. And this is all of the crafting community. Um, let's continue to inspire one another and let's be open hearted, which is kind of where I was going with the end of the other video. Like I was saying with all the stuff that's going around, not only in Texas, but other states as well, whether engineered or not, let's just love to the best of our ability with an open heart and be open to the truth. <laughs> you guys, I'm going to end it because I was not supposed to talk about this level of thinking or talking or truth. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful evening, a wonderful night, or a wonderful morning wherever you are.